Yeah, tongue to the mixer and if you can tell right about there it has quite the uh, bend to it about uh, probably I don't know almost 10 degrees maybe and that's how it sits in the mixer so it has a bent to the right we'll shoot it from the other end you'll see it better so there you can see the bend and it's right right at the transition of the color right there and that's where the hole is for the pin to hold it in place i don't know how it got bent to the side but it did you would think it'd be bent up from dropping it or something so we're going to try to straighten that out now this is not just a piece of pipe it's a piece of pipe but what they did is they inserted a piece of steel down the center a t-section so that makes it it's really quite heavy uh, and it's a lot stiffer of course and there you can see the t-section that's inside here and that extends the whole length so that's bent also right so we're going to try to just first we're going to try to straighten it out i'm going to use my log splitters a 20 ton hydraulic press and we'll see if that does anything at all if not i have another idea about uh cutting it and uh, repairing it. The idea, the splitter is sitting on the ground. My plate for the bottom of the splitter is on the ground. Now I have to push against that plate. I can't push against the ground because all it will do is push the whole splitter up off the ground. So I put a chunk of I-beam on here. Now the flanges on that are uh, five eighths flanges, and uh, uh, the web is oh half inch, pretty pretty stout piece. Now I'm going to put that on there with, of course, the bend up. Now the bend looks like it was right where it sits at the front plate uh, when it's in the cement mixer. Now I have this piece here that has a v-notch in it and I'm going to put that right there on the knot the cutting edge of the splitter and push right on that spot now it's probably it's not going to bend it very much because I'm not supporting it in two locations now if this kind of works if I can even bend it then I have to do something down on the base plate uh, two blocks maybe and and do that uh, push against that but we're going to see if I can even do this at all. Stuck on there, and we'll see if we can uh, even flex that. Oh yeah. So there's the gap. Let's see. Here's a straight edge. We'll see. Okay. Well, it's not too bad in there. Not too bad, not too bad. So, in a foot or so, it's not a quarter of, it's not even a quarter of an inch out. Not too bad. It's way better than it was. Let me put it that way. I'm gonna see if I have some blocks to set up on the uh, log splitter there. So, uh, I could use the I-beam still, that way I get them a, maybe a little farther apart and uh, still I could press that a little bit. All right, I put it back on the splitter here with blocks underneath on each end and a block on top to spread that out a little bit. In the direction we were trying to straighten it out, it's basically uh, straight now, perfect. Uh, I, I Even after measuring it, I bent it a little bit, I got it right on the money as far as the one direction, but then looking at it at 90 degrees, the other direction also has a bit of a bend. And that's probably from dropping it because it's in the up bent position. So I'm going to do the same method here and I'm going to flex this a little bit and we'll get this a little straighter.
This worked actually really good. Now I'm just going to eyeball it here and get an idea so it's real good this way. 90 degrees. Oh, that is right on the money. Straight in both directions. Um, now we're really good to be able to use this again. Well, I'm starting repairs on the uh, doghouse here, and this corner is really rusted and blown out, and I have it jacked up right now to kind of square this all up, this opening, and uh, push this up. I'm going to grind and get this off of here, and what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tacked in place uh, so it stays square. And then I'm going to cut this whole flange off and weld a piece of angle iron in here as a new flange. Now there used to be two doors on there and I've got this side's all, I got cleaned up. I've already ground those off and, and cleaned them up. I still have this side to do, grind off these broken hinges. And we'll hopefully find some sheet metal. Uh, and I'll get something going on for some doors. But at first I gotta get this repaired and cleaned up uh, so we can mount the doors, get it squared up. If you don't know, uh, to, if you want to get something square, the fastest is to measure across diagonals. And I'm gonna choose these out, outside corners here uh, as my reference. And that's 47 and a half. And uh, let's see what it is this way. And we're 46 and 3 quarters, so we're about a half an inch difference. So if I can correct the half the error, which is half an inch, so a quarter of an inch, uh, and get this racked over so that they're even, I'll know that this, the, the, this framework in the front here is relatively square. What I've done is, first I jacked this up, pushed it up, and then I put a, a clamp across the diagonal. And I have it at 46 and a, 47 and a quarter, and measuring this way, now I'm at 47 and a quarter. So I know that this is relatively square. Now if I start coming in here and do it, working on this corner, uh, getting it welded and tacked together to hold it that way, then I'll come in and cut this off this flange off which is rotted and been brazed on and everything we'll cut this off and we'll put a piece of nice uh, little piece of angle iron on there
I think that's about as straight as that's gonna get. It's a bit hard to tell, but this line here is pretty, pretty, it's got a little bit of wahoo in it, but not much. Yeah, they're, they're pretty straight. Uh, there's some still bump, humps and bumps in the sides, but that's the way that goes. So this piece here, I'm gonna cut this off. Uh, there's just a little weld here, nothing in here. This has been broken for a long time, big gap. Over here, this one's broken, big gap, same way. So I'm gonna grind this out, grind these top ones that are cracked anyway, and straighten it out a little bit and then and remount this properly. Our blue layout die is on there and then I just take a scriber and scratch that out just to, all the way around. This piece here mounts here above that and lining it up with the holes those aren't really quite correct uh, but this is the piece, so we're gonna have to make that fit. It's two inch pipe, it's the same size as the tongue. And I'm gonna put that on there and that will fit in that hole, no problem, plenty of room. And then, but this is a now, oh, almost a half an inch higher. So we're, we're gonna cut that hole, then place it and probably drill these by hand afterwards. All right, I slipped the tongue in and realign this you know, and got our distance uh, appropriate so we have enough for the locking pin to catch the hole. And uh, the stop pin will have plenty of clearance uh, also. Everything's at angle, so it's, it's all by eye. Now we'll put the uh, foot on up here after welding that, see, now, now we'll get this on. Out here on front, so we got a lot of cracks around these holes here and cracked right there. Uh, I'm going to put some beads out here and then I'll eventually grind them down. I'm going to put that doubler, I think, on the back. Now I've ground all these cracks uh, down uh, about halfway through the sheet metal. It's a, this is about eighth inch thick. So uh, we'll hopefully got some holes all the way through in there. Uh, we should be able to get them welded up. Looks pretty good. We'll grind those down. Not too bad. Still kind of hot, but looks a lot better. At least they're filled in. And I don't do body work. So just a little bit more. I get that doubler plate on, and then I can. Uh, do a little cleanup and give it some paint. But I have my doubler plate mounted in position for welding. Uh, it's bolted in on the other side uh, with the uh, locking attachment. 
and I have a false two inch piece of pipe in there for uh, simulation of the tongue. This is uh, bolted on and I think uh, we're pretty much ready to weld that in. The tongue will should slip in there just fine. This is Tell you this machine, I'm just using the automatic settings on the machine and the machine is welding perfectly. You know, you can fine tune it a little bit, you know, of course, and that's what I kind of did, but uh, it's welding just awesome. Looking better already. <laughs>